All right. So yeah, I said I was going to be chainsaw carving some more. So I went and scavenged some wood and well, I was gonna, and it turns out that there is a um, problem with the emerald ash borer in my area. So the brush site that I had been getting wood from has a sign. It says like, don't take wood from here because of this problem with potentially spreading this bug that I'm assuming will infest your trees and is killing them. I don't know. So that seems new. I definitely didn't see that warning before. So I guess I have to find a new place to scavenge wood, which guess what? I live in the Great Plains. So trying to find forests is a little bit difficult. Not that trees don't exist. I mean, you can, this giant tree behind me obviously is here. It's just, I don't live in a heavily wooded area. So I will have to find a new place to scavenge wood. So for this year, obviously it's gonna get cold pretty soon. So I'm hoping to scavenge a few more good pieces of wood from places that are maybe healthy. Um, but we'll see if that happens because I'm just not sure where to go because, okay, we've got corn and dirt. So, <laughs> but forests somewhat lacking. Okay, so I'm either gonna carve like a witchy wood spirit type thing and or a cat. We're gonna see what my wood kinda lends itself to. So I got my chaps I'm gonna put on. I got more bar oil, sharpen my chainsaw, gloves, glasses. Be sure to put your hair up and get that shit out of your way. I mean, just saying, don't be carving with your hair flopping around cause um, I mean, let's just be honest. Nobody wants to have some horror story of their fucking hair getting ripped out because they were an idiot and I don't know, got it caught in a chainsaw or some shit. That would be pretty embarrassing. So be sure to put your hair up, put some braids in, do something like that. Got a crazy bun. And we're just gonna see how this goes. Okay, so hashtag Halloween, um, pretty happy with her. So her nose did fall off and that's why I did want it to be more crooked and stuff, but it just like a piece of wood just like fell off of it literally. So I gave her a little hat. Um, obviously I would have probably made it bigger, but hey, live and learn. 
So yeah, this is also another piece that I just decided to paint up because I felt pretty happy with it. Faces are obviously difficult because you want them to look like a face, which is a very particular thing. But I feel like for a like cartoony witch, it kind of like, it does that. It looks like that. I'll put her eyes in. It's starting to get dark, so I wanted to finish filming this. And then I will finish painting her tomorrow when everything's dry. And then I'll do, you guys will see a final video of her. So yeah, she's got big crazy red lips and a funny chin and hair, boy is hair hard. I did not know how to do that. So mostly she's um, bald question mark. And or you can just pretend that the sides here are hair. We'll just go with that. I painted them gray cause witches have gray hair. I don't know. So yeah, this is a stereotypical green spooky witch. Um, since it's October now. I want to do like maybe a crow or a cat. That would be very Halloween-y. And I'll probably do some pumpkins as well. So I, those are, will all be more this size versus like, I mean, all of my pieces, you know, they're like two feet or something. So um, this carved up pretty good. This wood was really, really dry. I've had it for a while. I, uh, sharpening my chainsaw, that helped a shitload, duh. And then obviously having bar oil. You know, I literally didn't have any and that's why I didn't carve anything last week. So I won't be carving every single week forever um, because I like doing other things. Well, you guys don't care. So yeah, hair is hard. If I don't know how to do that, I, didn't I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a cat or some kind of spooky witch wood spirit thing but as I was carving it I was like yeah it's kind of it had these two like points to the log and I thought one of them could for sure be a hat and I like how it turned out it looks cute I guess I'll put her on our front step for Halloween and it'll be our one spooky thing. Who has time to decorate for every fucking holiday? Like who has time for that? I don't have time for that. Who cares? I don't know. I decorate for Christmas and that's pretty much it. Cause I really like Christmas. I like Christmas decorations. Um, but otherwise, like, I don't own any Halloween decorations. Maybe we'll have a pumpkin somewhere if we, maybe, maybe we'll carve pumpkins or have some gourds or something. But for the most part, Christmas is the one thing I decorate for. Everything else, sorry, I've got better things to do than decorate my house specifically for every holiday. Thank you guys for being so supportive. I am like so, so wicked close to being able to monetize my channel, which is a huge milestone for me. Yeah, dang. So I have new stuff on my Etsy. I'll keep putting stuff on there, like wood burning stuff, witchy things. Yeah, and I'll just keep carving while I can, which is great, you know, you guys seem to like that. I feel like she turned out pretty okay for kind of a first face with my chainsaw. I've never done a face Really with my chainsaw, I've done animals because that just feels easier in some ways for me, for whatever reason. Yeah, I like this witch. I think she looks pretty witchy. I did do everything with my chainsaw. So if I really wanted to get hardcore, I'd do her eyes with my off-brand Dremel and do that, but I'm not gonna because it's just a fun practice witch face thing and I gotta go find a new place to scavenge wood which is a pain so it's starting to get dark so we'll wrap this up I really appreciate you guys thanks for liking my carvings and being supportive of that because I'm such a beginner but like hell yeah witch witchy yeah um but I'll have a new video next week and thanks for watching